Hey and welcome back you guys. This is a little surprise video I filmed a few weeks ago but never actually got to edit. It's about some of my favorite food combos right now. And yeah, this is also a very spontaneous voiceover so all the exact measurements and ingredients will be written down in the description. And yeah, I'm just here to guide you through the video very roughly. So let's get started. The first food combo is persimmon, vegan yogurt and cocoa powder. So it's basically a breakfast idea. For that I am simply combining some oats, some muesli mix with dried fruit and flaxseed I think, um, cinnamon, maca powder, but this is optional, um, more flaxseed apparently, <laughs> and I'm mixing the dry ingredients first. Then I'm chopping up my persimmon. I am very sorry, but I think persimmon are already out of season right now. Um, if you can find them and they're juicy and sweet, good for you. They're gorgeous. I'm also chopping up some almonds, mainly for decoration. Otherwise, I would just throw them in there. And yeah, there goes the vegan yogurt. I'm using soy here. It's a very thick one, so I'm also mixing in a little bit of almond milk to thin it out. And yeah, basically you just mix everything together. I'm also adding some frozen raspberries because I need some tanginess in my muesli. Then I'm adding more yogurt, which is not really necessary, but I wanted it to look pretty. I think I overstayed my more yogurt, again for decoration, the persimmon and cocoa powder, some blueberries, the chopped up almonds, I'm also adding some unsweetened cornflakes for crunch, and a little bit more almond milk to just get everything together. I tried to fit this into this very tiny bowl. Um, which was ridiculous, but yeah, that's it. That is this beautiful combo. I'm telling you guys, vegan yogurt, cocoa powder, persimmon. It's just, it's so beautiful. And yeah, until the next recipe. So this is actually an idea for a very, very gorgeous salad. And it's the combination of orange, chili flakes and walnuts and greens, basically, that makes this just so, so good. So juice, half an orange, and add this to a small saucepan. Then you want to heat that up. Add some black pepper. Some chili flakes. And then just heat that up until it starts to boil. And remove from the heat and let it cool. And then you want to prep your salad. I'm using some cucumber, some carrot, and of course some more oranges. So I'm just chopping everything into bite-sized pieces and get on with the dressing. So for the dressing you want to combine the cooled down orange juice with some olive oil and some salt. Then just assemble your salad, greens, cucumber, carrot, orange and pour over your dressing. Then add some walnuts to this. Some more chili flakes, this is optional, but I like it. And that's basically it, you guys. It does look so easy, and it is actually quite easy, but it's so good. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's amazing. And now onto the last food combo I'm really passionate about. And it's bell pepper and sesame in a soup, basically. <laughs> So for that, I'm chopping up two red bell peppers. I have this pointy ones here. 
also some carrot just thinly slicing it here because i wanted to eat the soup with chopsticks as it's a noodle soup so just chop it into whatever size you want then i'm adding the vegetables into a pot with some veggie broth and just heating that up until it starts to boil in the meantime i'm prepping some dried soy bits which are basically soy meat and yeah you have to soak them first because they're dried so i'm just doing that here with some hot water and some spices like paprika powder veggie broth and um, turmeric when the soup starts to boil, I'm also adding some frozen peas here. This is optional, but it adds some green and I like peas. When the soy beds are soft, you can fry them in some soy sauce and some sesame seeds and set them aside. Then I'm also adding some rice noodles to the soup because noodles make everything better along with some miso paste soy sauce and the star of the show tahini tahini makes the soup super creamy and super flavorful so don't skip this step it's amazing then i'm also adding some more chili flakes and then just let it simmer until everything is cooked then assemble your soup with your soy bits and I also added some spring onion here and yeah, that's it basically. These are one of my favorite foods right now. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!